All right, moving on here. A man accused of brutally assaulting an MTA worker may not end up standing trial. Attorneys are now waiting for his mental health to be evaluated. But as CBS 2's Natalie Dudridge reports, transit workers are angry and demanding justice. Right now, I'm very upset. The DA has let us down. The Transit Workers Union Vice President Robert Kelly expressed outrage that an assault case involving an MTA worker was delayed again, as attorneys wait to see if the accused will be referred to a program for defendants who face mental health issues. He had his mental capacity at the fullest level in that courtroom speaking clearly. This should have been a cut and dry case. We've been going on almost two years. Back in August 2022, police say 36-year-old Anthony Nelson was working as a cleaner at the Pelham Bay subway station when he spotted Alexander Wright harassing riders. Officers say Nelson tried to step in and Wright attacked him. We should have a safe place to work. Nelson says he's still recovering after suffering a broken collarbone and broken nose. Day by day. Police charged Alexander Wright, now 51, with assault and harassment. A federal law enforcement source said Wright has 39 prior arrests. A hate crimes, uh, uh, assault on, 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 on officers of the law, assault on uh, MTA employees. There's a rap sheet longer than this block that he has that doesn't make any sense for anybody to recommend any further treatment. In a statement, the Bronx District Attorney's Office said the defense asked to have the case sent to mental health court for evaluation of right to determine if that court would be more appropriate to handle the case or if it should remain in regular court. Officials say anyone who assaults a transit worker faces up to seven years behind bars. We'll continue to be here together every court date demanding justice. As for Nelson, he's asking for justice on behalf of all transit workers. We are the backbone of this city. Wright's next court appearance is May 29th. In the Grand Concourse section of the Bronx, Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News.